not the best day today to go swimming. This is rough so going for breakfast. Not the best thing. Always one day that is bad. One day is always bad. just got to the place where we usually have breakfast this one which is never closed three six five days a year is open today's closed i don't know why i don't know why something must have happened everyone is like what's happening here like why is this closed this is always open like the whole year round they open like 6 a.m or something yeah it's 20 past nine no breakfast and i'm back home See, it's still pretty rough today. Can you see that? Hope you can. So, see, it's pretty rough today. Let's take a few minutes to look where we're staying. That's, this is the second home we actually changed in these holidays. Um, and we are back in the south of Italy. Uh, this is a small apartment where we come back every, every, every year, pretty much. Uh, you know. Uh, so we've got the one bedroom, that's where we sleep, yeah, that's it, one bedroom here, got TV over there, sofa bed, kitchen, chill up area, it's not massive, but like, got toilet there, and to do spare bedroom, where, you know, my parents can stay, the kids, whatever, so that side goes, looks into, to the sea, this looks into the tennis court. <laughs> And uh, I just put some of my stuff in this wardrobe. Do -do. Do -do. So I'm gonna look what have I packed this holiday. Yes, let's get into it. Cool, let's start with costume. Costumes, we've got, I haven't packed a ton of stuff. Costumes, not many. This is a mistral short. I got it from the States on the bay was dead stock love them because they have nothing inside it's just literally a, a, a short um, I love the fit of them uh, they dry super fast and it was an 80s mystery is a great brand for surfs it was massive in the 80s still is quite big and those by Robin Ash uh, famous US windsurfer and the tag on this was beautiful with the with the picture of Robin Ash and this windsurf um, love them then what we got we got these are the one these are sandex sandex straight from the 80s little detail that they don't do anymore like velcro the front and i love this i don't know if you can see this detail here i say sandex just at the end of the of the little thing uh, and you, you can see the color are muted today sandex does quite a bright neon colorways these are super muted super 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 pastel color uh, branding as well as hasn't changed in the years but as you can see just love them the material you can feel is like an 80s materials like but you know do the job a lot of them to get the costume i think that's it then we've got quite a few t-shirts so let's start with uh, i've got this one stone island obviously stone island is just like a big summer brand for me got polo this is like the typical late late 2000 it's got the back called the cross very light very nice this is actually more lighter cotton that I really like more Stone Island uh, this is a vintage I believe it's late 90s just got the the branding over here yeah uh, it's just like plain t-shirt always love them they, they, they necks always come a little bit like a mock neck kind of thing so they're always a little bit more wide and out so we've got another Stone Island this is Stone Island denims I, I love this one I love denims I mean it's such an underrated brand it comes with the uh, with the branding there simple stripes stone island denims it's just a big polo love it it's got white details white color just so you know just so summery me it's just summer and i think we're done with stone island no we're not 
I knew it. So we got plain, plain gray t-shirt, same, same logo. This has got a very thin neck. It's not the mock neck version. Same for this. This has been worn hundreds of times and they, because they are dyed in, in peace, basically, dyed garment, as they say, they tend to fade a lot, which I think that is brilliant. Then I've got, this is an unbranding t-shirt. I think you always need a, uh, just a stripy t-shirt. Great, not even sure where they're from. It's probably one of the major fast fashion brands that I've been, I had for a year, for years. Always need that. If you don't have a Stone Island Marina, just get that, it's fine. Then we've got Americanino. You've seen in the video that I've got the shorts. Where are the shorts? I'll get the shorts in a sec. So this is just a logo t-shirt. Simple, brilliant. Got a little detail. These are the new, the new ones. So that's the, that's the branding. Uh, these are the new ones. So Americanino is a massive brand that uh, made in Italy. Uh, it was quite big in the 80s. They keep doing stuff and uh, their stuff is quite nice. I'll get the shorts in a minute. I'm not sure where they are. Best company, best company. If you've seen my stories, um, this is the Coco Island with the windsurf sail. Uh, white label by Olmes Caretti. Love the color, very, very pale mint color. Just can't go wrong with it. Obviously, this is an 80s one. We're going to, oh, that's also an 80s one. <laughs> this is a little bit more difficult to wear today, but this pattern, I love this pattern by Olmes Carretti as well. Just love them on the beach, just like, you know. I'm not sure, I don't think. Oh yeah, they've got the embroidery here. I don't know if you can see that, but they've got the embroidery there, best company. Olmes Carretti patterned into the new 2019 summer almost Carretti best company very interesting pattern love the colors so these are from the new these are from the most recent uh, best company type of line I'm not wearing socks but you're gonna have always at least two colors these are the I think the the Manchester which are in a lighter cotton like a combed cotton so they come out very light again. So you've got the Burlington, Burlington socks. Those are the only socks. Just Burlington Argyle pattern socks. And we're done with that. Bottoms, just Stone Island. Dead stock, 90s, I believe. Stone Island, Stone Island. This is just a beautiful cotton. They were very, very wide, these trousers. They're very wide, I love them. This one is a late 80s Stone Island black with the compass here. Just love them, just black. They're not even chinos, it's just black cotton. And I just love them. Just love, love, love. Uh, let me get the shorts. Shorts, you see me in the video. Americanino, just simple brown. Khakis, I would say. I'm only gonna brand it. Uh, these are new, the new collection. I just bought, they come out quite wide. I like them wide on the legs, so they were a little bit too wide. So I paired it with the, like a boat style, uh, women uh, belt. Let's close with the shoes, bands, no strings, so you can just look them very, very, very loose. Uh, these are from last year collection and these are the era that I like them because they're a little bit more soft here um, the classic they tend to cut my ankle a little bit around here so I just prefer the era the two models you want to look at are the era of the classic that's it so you wouldn't go through the skateboard or anything like that so we got these ones can miss you know Timberland Four Season, Quattro Stagioni, we were calling them. You've probably seen it in my previous video when I got them new. Timberland with the boat uh, type of sole, but with the three eyes. So the lugs are three. And I personally wear them with the Timberland anti-fatigue sole. I just find this anti-fatigue sole that I got them from the trucker actually. I just pop them into any type of shoe that I wear, I just love them. Oh, accessory wise, forgot to mention. Wayfarer, I don't know if you can see, but these are actually 
It's too small. These are they will they will have a little inscription that says BL Bach and Lom. So we could do a we could do a video on Ray Ban because there would be a lot of models of Ray Ban that were quite a Paninaro staple. Pretty much all made in USA. So before the Luxottica stepped in and bought and bought them, uh, and they will all have the inscription BL. Actually, I have another pair somewhere. We're talking about accessories. That's the the Invicta branded. In there, uh, that's the go around. I mean, I pack pretty much most of the stuff into this. This is the new version of the Jolly, that's the Jolly over here, embroidered Jolly. Um, oh, yeah, so my other sunglasses will be here. Yes, so these are the and these are modern, these are Luxottica. It doesn't say here, these are modern again. We should do a video because this has got a lot more modern. Um, approach to the frame. The frame is obviously a late late 70s I think. Uh, it was massive Paninaro style. The Olympian Deluxe 2. Yeah I got a few more vintage at home that I you know again we, we could do a video on this. And last but not least these accessory can. This is modern so obviously in the 80s Invicta would not make see that would not make this style of uh, bag, uh, funny bag, I don't know what they call it, uh, waist bag, um, but it would be the mini sack range that it's back, it's back in production the last few years. And it's a very tiny backpack made of this material. So it's not like the Jolly, which is quite a, a hard one. Um, and these one, uh, I love this colorway. They come in all colors, uh, in the 80s they were thousands of colors now they've done about six or seven you can still find them on the website most probably i mean definitely in europe you can find them um, and i just love them because obviously it's kind of like a more modern uh way that you wear the the, the bum bags or on over across the shoulder and i just think it works fine you can put all your stuff in there you know sunglasses i don't know bank cards uh, euros and uh, that's it that's it pretty much stay in touch please subscribe if you've done it to here to the end consider subscribing to the channel make it grow let's grow together bye